Right, so you want to capture someone's login and password with Wireshark. It's actually very, very simple to do this and requires no technical knowledge. So you, as a beginner with zero knowledge, you can get someone's password. Right, but to get started, first of all, we obviously need Wireshark, right? So if you come to the your favorite search engine, whatever it could be, type in Wireshark. Now make sure it's not a sponsored link, right? Because we shouldn't trust sponsored links. So come to the second link, Wireshark. Now come to downloads or scroll down, whatever, it's up to you. Now what you get is basically get options. Now you get Windows X64 installer, so if you're on Windows, you need to download this one. If you're on a Mac OS, what you need to do is you need to research which CPU you have, which processor you have. So if you have an ARM processor, you download this one. If you have an Intel one, you download Intel, right? Okay, so basically one of the final steps is to do just launch Wireshark and launch your adapter, which should be the first one that pops up. Right, so once you launch Wireshark, basically what you're looking for is if you don't know anything about adapters, most likely your adapter is the one that basically is first, right? So for me, it's Ethernet zero, so just click on that. Right, so basically once you launch your adapter, what you get is basically a window and what you get is just basically the traffic flowing through. Now. There's nothing really interesting happening here. There's no like no credentials or nothing here, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna demonstrate for you how to capture credentials, right? But obviously before I show you this, I need to tell you that this is for educational purposes only. Please don't use any credentials that you find to log in into any services because it's basically illegal because you don't have any permissions to log in. Even though that you have captured it basically in a passive way, you haven't hacked anything, it's still illegal for you to log in. Now, before I actually show you how to get the passwords, I just want to introduce you to Wireshark so you don't get confused. Wireshark is a bit one of these programs that are confusing, just like Adobe products. They're very confusing once you touch them for the first time, right? So when you come to the Wireshark, basically what you get is these little buttons, right? These buttons, this fin is very, very important. Start capturing packets. So if you want to reset your basically sort of this window, all you need to do is just come here and continue without saving. And what you should do is recapture any packets, right? There you go. So we got some start, the traffic starts flowing again. If you want to stop this, which is also important so you don't make your life much, much harder than it is, come here to this little red button and it stops right and this stops intercepting the traffic right very very important okay filtering which is very also very important because as you can see there's a lot of useless noise and we don't need this right so if you come here to the left corner and if you click this little bookmark icon you get a lot of filters now whatever you're looking for if you know an ip address of the device that you're trying to basically intercept it's great because then you can filter by ip address but if you don't for example, but let's assume someone's trying to use an FTP server, right? Let's type in FTP. And as you can see, there's an FTP filter. If you click this and press enter twice, what it does, as you can see, it basically intercepts the traffic and it basically sorts it, right? So we get like, it's split into five packets, right? Now we can analyze it through here, which is basically very, very simple, right, to do. Because we can just see, as you can see, welcome Kali, let's specify the password please specify the password Kali and login and correct right so it tells you the whole traffic so it tells you welcome user pass and it tells you that it failed which means the the pass is not correct right but still we have managed to intercept some traffic now if you analyze here sorry other way around actually to make it easier source so source is basically us right and the destination is the server right and it tells you the protocol FTP right and it tells you the length so how long the request is request user Kali, right? So very, very important. But there's one way to make this very, very simple. And I actually can make this very, very simple even with noise. I will show you how to do this. Now, but there's a lot of noise, right? As you can see, there's lots of noise. Stuff we're not interested in, right? But if you basically analyze and you see something interesting, for example, here, what we've got is the same packet, but this is with noise, right? So we have FTP, and we get a basically the first packet. Now it doesn't really matter if it's the first packet or not. I'll actually demonstrate right now. This is the first packet and this is the last, right? So if I come here and I come to right click, follow TCP stream, as you can see, it tells you the whole traffic. So it tells you the whole sort of the whole transmission of the data, right? So from, from logging in to the last request, right? If that makes any sense, hopefully it does. Right, so as you can see, it says, welcome user Kali, please specify the password, pass Kali, login incorrect. So very, very simple and absolutely great. I love this feature because it basically makes everything so much easier and it's just a, such a such a lifesaver and an eye saver because I don't have to look for this and like figure out what is all of this. I don't need to, right? This is such a nice feature. Now, how to set this up? Oh, we need these two computers and a Wireshark, right? The first 
computer, the victim needs to access an unsecure protocol, right? For example, I'll show you how to do this. And the second one is just needs to run, run Wireshark, right? So let me actually show you. So this is Wireshark. So this is our attacker machine. And on Kali, what I'm going to do is I'm going to access an FTP server or try to at least access it, right? So let me show you right now. So I'm going to connect an FTP server right now. And I'm going to put anonymous, anonymous, right? And I'm just going to quit. Okay. And what you get on Wireshark straight away, right? As you can see, response to on 20. So we get the same idea. So all you need is an unsecured protocol and a coffee shop. For example, HTTP is unsecure. Telnet, as I said, FTP and many other ones, right? These are all unsecure protocols. And all you need to do is just come here, right? Follow TCP stream, right? Or as I showed you, just filter it by a protocol for, so you might need to look for FTP or you might actually have to look through the traffic to find whatever you're looking for, right? Or you can use the IP address, right? So for example, I'll show you how to use an IP address, right? All you need to do is just use a filter. So if you use IP other and the IP address, just press enter twice. And as you can see, it filters out by the IP address. How do we find the IP address? All we need to do is just run a simple Nmap scan to find all the hosts on your on your network, right? Or you can use other tools, whatever you want, or you can use NetDiscover, also a very, very good tool to find hosts. Now, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment. If I helped you something, if you have learned something, please do. It'll help the channel grow. And also, if you would like to see some methods, with, especially hacking methods, for example, Google Dorking, on the screen right now, what you'll get is a video that will basically teach you everything you need to know about Google Dorkin. Peace.